This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Nicki Minaj returned to Queen Radio, and that's right after she put out that new single, Yikes. And she talked for about three hours, and one of the things that she talked about was her wedding plans. What's going on with that? Here's what she had to say. Have you already organized your wedding, date, place, etc.? Well, if y'all know me, y'all know the answer is no. I'm a last minute impulsive bitch. I don't know why, but that's how I've always been. But I would like to do the wedding this year. (laughs) I would. And I would like to have Kiki Wyatt. Me and my husband was in the thing and we and I was fake singing to him. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to see if Kiki Wyatt can sing at our wedding because I love me some Kiki. 50 Cent stopped by Queen Radio and here's what happened. (laughs) <laughs> Did you ever hear about me and my come up while you was in? Nah, nah, her, her. Why you ain't sign me? Because of Fendi. Mm-hmm. Nah, I was because of him. I was like, eh. Fendi. Shout out to Fendi though. Me and him. I, y'all remember that me and him reconciled our mm-hmm. differences. But that's good because I always wanted to know. I was like, because people think that. I, like Wayne was the first thought. Wayne right. was interested, but <laughs> but I I did uh, do that was already meetings. built before that. Like I saw the whole play. I would have loved to hear heard 50 and Nikki talk about how New York passed up on them, though. Because think about all the artists in New York, all the executives mm-hmm. in New York that were right there and saw all that heat bubbling up under their nose and didn't do anything about it. 50 had to get signed by M and Dre. Nikki well, had to get signed different. by Yeah, Lil 50 Wayne. was signed already 50, to Interscope, Yeah, right? 50 was a little different. You remember when, you know, Irv Gotti at that time was so big that Irv Gotti was pretty much blocking 50 from being signed. True. Clue tried to sign 50, but I think it, it wouldn't have worked. I think where he went was the perfect spot for him. He was able to make the music oh, he wanted to make. So happened for a reason. Same thing with Nikki. But I still would think that somebody in New York would I said, man, everybody hear what you're talking about, but this dude is on fire. We got to grab And then 50 had a deal at Columbia, didn't he? Have he a did. deal first, and, and then it, yeah. mm-hmm. all they that happened. Yep. All right, um, in addition to that, uh, Mick, Malibu Mitch. Well, first of all, Nicki Minaj was shouting out all the women uh, rappers who actually supported the single, Yikes. And she also wanted to hear some Doja Cat, some Meg Thee Stallion. And then Malibu Mitch did this freestyle. Okay. Yeah, shout out she to Malibu that. Mitch. Mm-hmm. All right, so that was a, a good look right there. She's been on lip service before. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.